Mars is a pretty strange planet with some pretty strange features. Let's check out the spaceship footprints. You may have seen this in another video. What looks a lot like an object sitting there is actually a depression, or perhaps impression, in the ground. And it looks a lot like a spaceship landed there and took off. That's partly because it's so symmetric, and also because the edges are so sharp and clear in the middle of a plane. The length is 1.35 miles. That angle is not east-west aligned, but about 87 degrees, and at the widest point, it's a 0.45 miles wide. More on that later. What, I know, what we notice here is that the edges are so pristine, when we look at this nearby normal earthquake crater, for example, notice how the edges are bunched up against from the shock wave. We don't see that here. So what it looks like to me is that something uh, six times the length of an aircraft carrier simply landed here gently was heavy and sunk in the ground, then took off without heavy exhaust and went westward because it's particularly the west edge that's slightly lifted up against, and you can see a crack there. So this thing went west. Now, about that angle, when we go about 1,500 miles east in the same 87 degree angle, what we have here is tracks in the ground. Unfortunately, this area is not well detailed, but as we zero in, zoom in and make a measurement, pretty much 0.45 miles wide, approximately, as if that spaceship or thing was plowing through the ground here. Apparently the aliens had business doing that. Back to the spaceship footprint. As we go really far in the west at the same angle, we have more of the same thing. Not well detailed, unfortunately. But we got tracks at about the same width. All right, now let's see another one. I used to call this the 5,000 meter football stadium, which is misleading as if it were above ground. That's a stamped in depression. But look carefully at the edges. They're not bunched up against. This is not an asteroid crater. And it's not round anyway. And yet you can see from the blast pattern that this canyon had a violent creation. It looks to me like something at least 16 times the length of an aircraft carrier simply fell here from the sky with a great thud and then disappeared or took off. And this happened a very long time ago. That basin floor is flat, I believe because it's buried in dust that's blew in but could not be blown out, which would take a long time. And there may be so seeing the full shape of the depression, we're just seeing the top part. And there may be something or some things buried in the bottom of the dust, which is why we should excavate that today. All right, let's check out the ice tunnel. Now what we have here is a pretty good round smooth tunnel in the ice, possibly going underground. 
As we back up a little bit, that looks like a spaceship buried in the ice, which I cannot believe, but it is facing the same direction as the tunnel, so I don't know what to think. As we zoom in and look carefully, I think this tunnel is an Audi. Something bulged and melted its way out and then disappeared, leaving behind this preserved frozen tunnel. And there you have it.